Hi everyone, it's Pat here from Scrivener Art and Design. Today I'm going to be showing you how I work through a painting that I'm not particularly happy with and I'm going to rework it and talk through my thought process so you get an idea of the questions I ask myself. It's a little bit of a longer video because I haven't sped it up or cut a lot of it out other than some paint mixing. So bear with me if you want to learn about my thought process and stick around until the end. I kind of like the color combinations in it and stuff, but I'm feeling it's a little bit busy. And also if you look like I have similar corners, nice mark making in it, but I'm just not, in love with it and I think there's some things that could be um, improved upon. So I think I'm going to start by maybe changing one of the corners. So let's mix up some paint, maybe a gray down neutral color would be nice in that corner. So I've got blue. To gray it down, I'm going to need orange, the opposite, which means some yellow and a little bit of red. So I could have used probably that purple too. It's a little bit of red. And a little bit more yellow. And I want it lighter. Okay, let's see how that looks. I'll throw a little bit of this teal in just to give it a little bit different gray, a little warmer. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so I'm going to put that on this corner. Oh, a lot of yellow on my blade. Okay, I'm feeling like that's still too cool. Tape that down to my paper. So I like putting um, some brown paper down on my table so that I'm not so worried about getting uh, paint all over it with oil and cold wax. It's easy enough to take off and clean up and throw away. And also I like taping my substrate, my paper down so it doesn't move around so much uh, when I'm working just a couple little tricks that I've kind of learned out of frustration. So I want to make sure that this blue is in some other place. So I'm just adding it in a couple of places now. Got a lot of texture in here, so it's pretty rough. Yeah, I think it needs some bigger shape, so. Got a lot of pink, but I think I'll make one of those pink shapes or corally. Maybe I'll make a coral color. So adding the yellow to the red with white is going to give me a coral shade. Oops, I got a little bit of blue in that. Oh dear. I've just made a, more of a neutral shade. Well, let's see how that might fit in. 
Yeah, it might be okay. Where am I gonna make this? It's similar to something I have down here anyway. Again, like I said, this has a lot of um, raised texture areas in it, so it's not as easy to uh, scrape now. So let's just go for a really big shape there. So that changed it up quite a bit. I'm going to lighten some of it just by adding wax or white with the wax in it just on top of this. Try a few textures in here and see, break this up a little bit, make it more interesting. I'm not liking those two shapes being so similar, so I think I'll release that one, maybe just by putting more blue on it. come in with some of this more neutralized green here I think something along that line okay that Thalo blue is really strong and that just pushed it towards blue. Try and push it back a little bit now towards green. It's a different green than I've got, bluey green, but I kind of like it. So I can maybe add a little more, more white. It feels a little dark. this and look at it from a different orientation as well. Okay, I'm feeling like this needs some marks. Try a little bit of this. Cray paw.
maybe a little bit more dark in places. Don't know, this is pretty wet now. I don't know if I can get too much of this to stay on, but. At this point, I'm not sure it's improved or just changed. So I'm going to try to remove some paint again and see. That's not really doing anything either. Yeah, so one of the problems with this is the value. I think that everything is looking very similar in value. And I'm going to try and just bring some lighter values in places. Not sure about having all that neutral on one side, so I'm going to try and bring a little more of this pinky corally color over here. So I don't like that mark going out of the picture on the corner. Don't want to lead the eye right out. So I'm going to come back and cover over that. really feeling like this needs a dash of black in it so I think what I'm going to do is put some black down here That certainly changed the feel of it. It's going to make some harder edges as well so everything isn't soft. So a little bit of contrast in edges.
just modulate that a little so it's not so solid. And then I think I'll go back and try and make some kind of marks in it just to break it up a little. That's very subtle, but it is there. Okay, I'm liking it at the top better. Not sure that I'm liking that little bit of blue anymore as much as it's hinging it together. I think I'm going to take it down a bit. I'm thinking I need to come in with some light over here now. Not light enough. Okay, so I'm going to change that as well. I'm not keen on how this comes down to the bottom, so again, I'm just going to obliterate that. Okay, I'm feeling like this is too much, all too much of one thing here. So I'm going to see if I can, also feeling kind of half warm and half cool. It's not working that well in my, in my mind. Um, Okay, why not? I'm going to throw this little bit of red I have in. Just try and change that color up some. Just trying to moderate this color a little bit so it's 
not feeling all the same, um, just too static. So that's better. Gives a little more interest. I think I'm going to let go of this pink corner over here. Again, go back and try and get a little pattern. That's very subtle, but it did reveal some of the underneath. So I think I'm going to uh, pull the tape off here so we can get a closer look and uh, then I can make some decisions when this is dry and come back into it. But it's pretty wet now. So this is on Arch's oil paper. Okay, so that's how it, uh, it looks now and um, I'll look at it and it's, it, it's more cohesive than I thought it was. I do like it better than what I had before, the big shape, uh, some neutrals, some darker values, a little bit of line and pattern. So. We'll see uh, how it feels after it dries and um, I might take this bit of pink here out and just make that blue right across the edge. I think that might be better. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me to grow and helps me with the YouTube algorithms. I'm going to be starting a commission painting and hope to record it and show you the progress from the beginning to the end. So watch for that next week. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.